Hello. Hello. Woo. All right. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing today? I hope everyone is having a good day. You all let me know if you can see and hear me well. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Baby, let me know. <laughs> Make sure I don't have no lipstick on my teeth, okay? All right. Ooh, it's warm in here, y'all. It is pretty warm in here. Uh, let's see, make sure everything is turned up. You can see and hear me well. Good, 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 baby, good. Hey, Deborah. Deborah says, good afternoon, Miss Linda and Chat. You are good. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you, Althea. Thank you. All right, let's get to the top of the chat. Nikki, welcome. Hey, Nikki. She said, hello, Miss Linda and everyone in the chat. Hope everyone is having a blessed day. You too, baby. You too. Hey, backyard flow. How you doing, Althea? Hey, honey. Uh, Gail. Hey, Gail. Hey, Mike. Hello, Miss Lorita. Um, Cassandra. Hey, you look gorgeous. Magazine ready. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you so much. Listen, I'm going to share with you what I was going to wear. Okay. Let me share. Let me share. I may just wear it on Tuesday. Mm, yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna share. Um, thank you, baby. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, that's Gail. Hey, Linda Holmes. Hey, Linda. Linda, say hello. I can see and hear you. All right. All right. All right. Oh, we're not done. A beautiful jungle. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, baby. Miss Patty's Kitchen. Hello. Hi, you. Um, uh, who's that? How you doing, baby? That's Miss Harriet. Hey, Miss Harriet. <laughs> hey, Renee Hall. Hey, honey, how are you? Hey, Ty Lily, how you doing, baby? Uh, Tia, good evening, Miss Linda. Good evening, Miss T Nog. Loving the hairstyle. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you, sister. You're on my mind, oh sister. You're one of a kind, oh my little sister, y'all. <laughs> How you doing, baby? Miss Gloria says hello, Miss Lyndon. Everyone in the chat. Hey, Denise White. Hello. How are you? She said, Hey, Miss Linda. Blessings to you and everyone in the chat. Hey, baby. Thank you for being here. 99. Hey, man. Hey, man. He said, hey, hey, 99 is in the house. Hey, what up, man? <laughs> Christine Jackson says, peace and blessings, Miss Linda. Everyone in chat. You too, baby. Hey, Maria Graham. Hello. Maria, I was on your TikTok, baby. I was on your TikTok. <laughs> I enjoyed it all. All of it. Mike is cooking up a storm over there. I love it. I love it. Hey, Netta. Salutations to you, baby. How are you doing? Uh, Ty Lily say, I'm loving your hair color. You uh, make me want to cut mine again and go blind. They say blinds have more fun. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> yeah. Bob Brownlee, hey baby, she said hello, Miss Linda, everyone. Strike that beautiful pose. Mm. Hey baby, that's what I got. Hey, my Renaissance grandma, I was on your channel too. I was watching you make your um, pineapple fritters. I get, I don't know what you call them. I, I don't know what you call them, but 
you were you were frying some pineapples, which looks really good with some batter. Yeah. Looks good. Look real good. Hey Sylvia, how you doing, baby? DP, hello, hello. Um, Miss Larita, what you saying, baby? What you saying, oh uh, baby? I, I don't understand BRB. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um DP say hello, Miss Lenny, everyone in the chat. Hey, honey, how are you all? So I want to welcome you all to the live. I hope you all having a wonderful day. I thank you all for being here. And to those that are watching the replay, I thank you also for being here. I hope I say something can help you in your garden or just in life in general. Okay? Yeah. But, um... I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to turn this fan off a little bit. Hopefully, it don't get too hot in here for me. Yeah. Hey, Drill, how you doing? Hi. She said, hey, t -Nog. Hey, my beautiful gardening family in chat. Great to see you. Great to see you too, baby. Great to see you too. I did read your email today. And you say you were here. You were here. And you were going to um, Rosie's, but I, don't, I, I guess you found out that Rosie's don't open on Sundays. <laughs> you know, this man is an old, oh, he's a very older man and he had those older ways. No, he don't do Sundays. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda Moffitt. How you doing, sweetheart? Good to see you. Good to see you. So the first thing we're going to talk about tonight, you all know, right, is Meatless Monday. Who will be participating in Meatless Monday? Let me know if you will be participating. Let me know. Let me know. Let me, well, let me say this. I am in. I am in, in, in. And I was looking for Precious to come in, but Precious did a video and she shared her spaghetti squash. Now I love spaghetti squash and I eat it all the time, but I haven't had one in a while. So you know what I did? I went and got me a spaghetti squash. I went to Mr. George and I, I got a spaghetti squash and that is what I will be having for lunch and dinner tomorrow. Now I don't put like, um, red sauce on my spaghetti squash. I just put, uh, I make a mixture of butter and garlic and onion powder, uh, some parsley, and that's what I put on my spaghetti squash. Yeah, yeah. You in, Sylvia? Good, baby. Hey, Miss D, she said, I'm in. Oh, Althea, I'm in. Rhonda, I'm in. All right. Uh, Tia say, I sure will. Meatless Monday. All right. Oh, <laughs> sure will. All right, baby. That is good. That is good. Now, the Meatless Monday thing that we're talking about tonight, um, that we're talking about tonight's title and what we're going to be talking about plays a huge role on that Meatless Monday. Shaka, hey, baby, how you doing? I've seen some videos of you all at the Soul Family um, Expo, uh, and I did see you. Good to see you, baby. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, Food by Faith, that's Shaka, y'all. <laughs> that's who that is. Jill said, yes, I made it there uh, on yesterday, and it was a beautiful experience. I got some of those different, wait a minute, types of mint. You did, so you saw all the mints that they have over there, and they have, like, everything you can think of. Let's see. Uh, different types of mints and an African spice basil. Yes, I'm so excited to get them um, um into my garden. Very good. You know, it was just so um, short notice because if you don't know, I am a church woman and on Sundays I'm in church. I'm in somebody's church. And so that's why, but hopefully the next time I could meet you. 
Right. Hey, Steffi, how you doing, baby? Let me see. I missed something somebody said. If I could find, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Thank you, baby. Um, quails, bees in garden. Hey, honey, how you doing? Planning to make meatless Monday chill with beans, chili with beans. Okay, okay, great. Uh, Devora, Devora. Good evening, Miss Linda and Chad. I'm looking, oh, you're looking gorgeous as always, listening in while work. Oh, baby, thank you for being here. Thank you. Hey, growing out the box. Hey, man, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. I'm going to get back with you. I really am. Yeah. Hey, Yankee sister. What's up, my sister? She said, hello, my sister, Linda, the New Orleans Gardener. You know I am ready to go for Meatless Monday. All right now. All right. All right. So let's get right on into this slide and what I want to share with you all today, right? <clears throat> now, um, if I miss your chat, I will come back. Okay. Hey, retired gardener. Hello, red lady. <clears throat> Good evening, Miss Lynn and everyone in the chat. And yes, <clears throat> I'm in for Meatless Monday. All right. All right. All right, y'all. Before I start talking, let me get some more water. I have so much ice in here, but we're going to get this water in. <clears throat> so what I want to share with you all tonight is this. As the title says, gardening and aging, right? So many people in their 30s or their 40s may not think they need this information that I'm sharing today. But this information is great for all ages, for all ages. And matter of fact, the younger you are to get this information, the better you will be when you get to be in my age group, right? Now, I don't mind telling anybody my age. I know most of you all already know, but just in case you don't know my age, I am 67 years old are 67 years young. <laughs> that is my age, right? Also my story that I've been gardening for many years. Now, when I began to travel out of the country, I did not have a garden. I could not depend on someone to take care of my garden like I take care of my garden. So all my life, no, um, but most of my life I have been gardening. When I was woke up to life, when I began life, I was gardening, right? For reasons were food. The reason was food. My grandmama had 16 babies now. This is my father's mother, and this is the one that I spent all my time with. The reason I spent all of my time with my father's mother is because my mother mother had passed away before I was two years old, right? But now, <laughs> My mother is one of 16 and my father is one of 16. So my grandmama did not baby her plants. They wasn't her baby. She had 16 babies. She wasn't, <laughs> listen, they were for food, period, food, right? So she wasn't playing with plants, right? Now, this is what I want to talk about. It's aging in gardening. I put up a video maybe about a year ago, and I even asked Jada in the video, is gardening work? So let me ask you all, just say yes or no. Do you believe that gardening is work? 
That's that's the question. And the answer should be yes or no. So Deborah says, I'm 67 also. I'm I've been gardening since 2007. All right, baby. So yes, all right, yes, 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 it's work, it's work. Yes, and I love it. You see, and, and I get it, but that's not, and I know we all love it. We all love it. We all love it. And some people say, oh, you know, I, I, I love it, but I don't look at it as work. Well, you don't have to look at it as work. But baby, <laughs> when you sit down or in the morning when you get up, your body going to tell you it's work. <laughs> okay. Well, depending upon how large your garden is, okay? Yes, Rhonda, it's work. No, it's not work to me. I love it. I get I get it, baby. Hey, do I get it? I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's hard on me, but God is helping me, Miss Lynn. Amen. Listen, God help all of us, baby. All of us. So listen. Let me say this, okay? I have watched my grandmama. Now, my grandmother was a tall woman. She was like 5'11". She was really tall. And she was a tall, slim woman. Something like me. <laughs> but, but she was a, a, a tall, dark woman. And I wanted to be dark so bad. I used to stay out in the sun. And I used to get burned <laughs> trying to get dark. But anyway, that's a whole different video. But what I learned is that as you grow older, I, this is my experience. This is me. I remember picking up uh, these three, uh, like, um, these big compost bags, um, just pick them up uh, out of the trunk of my car and bring them to my garden, throw them there and, you know, make trips. I used to do that. I mean, just two, three years ago, right? Not today. No, not today. Not today. I tried to pick up one of these bags the other day and I'm like, mm -mm. Oh no, hold on. Ben, <laughs> or I call my son Joe. Somebody come on out here and get these bags. We just, our mind is strong. Our mind is strong, right? But baby, as we age, your body gonna, your body gonna, gonna tell you, right? And it's gonna tell you when to sit down, right? So let me share some things that I have done in the past. So as I said, the, the, the younger you, you, you get into this thing, the better it is for you. First thing, and I'm not going to, we're not talking about the benefits yet right? Because there's so many benefits to having a garden. But I'm just talking about the gardener's physical condition and how we can continuously do the things that we love to do, right? Before you go out in your garden family, always eat something, a snack. And you would want this snack to be something that is alive, like a fruit. If you ever seen my videos where I share my breakfasts, I may have, I, I had a fried egg sandwich one day, but I have fruits. With every meal, I have a fruit. Fruits. And I remember this man said, that the first hydration we should get is not water. We should get hydration from our foods. And a lot of that is from our fruits. So eat a lot of good fruits before you go out in your garden. When you go out in your garden and we get to working out there, baby, we are burning energy. We are burning energy 
energy. So you need to get that energy. You need to get it in. Eat. Eat. Eat, everyone. Hey, um, girl, dad, eat your food. Get something in your stomach. And by all means, drink water and have you some water with you in your garden. Have you some water with you. <laughs> so today I was watching Led Live, Led Farmer 73 Live. And one thing Led said, hey, Mojo, man. Hey, man. <laughs> one thing Led said was, there is so many mukbangers out here on these YouTubes. YouTube, you know, TikTok, all these social media sites. And I've seen them. They are eating themselves into the hospital, really. Really. If you are a gardener, the tool that we work with the most in our garden is our body. Our bodies. So family, drinking water, eating lots of great fresh vegetables and fruits is so important. It's so important for us. It is one of the things that's going to help us continuously to do the things that we love. And that is gardening. That's what I'm talking about today. Okay. I eat fruits and, um, wait a minute, Deborah. I eat fruits and a cup of coffee and toast. Great. Get you some fuel in your body, right? That is the first thing because gardening is work, baby. And as you age, I am, I am not a sickly woman, right? And I have been strong, uh, like being able to do the things that I want to do in my garden. But as you notice, you all have been seeing Ben more and more in my videos. And some of the things, can I do it? Yeah, it's going to take me a longer amount of time to do it. But, yo, I got good sense. I got good sense. So I have these people here that is willing and ready to help me. So I call them. And I say, come on, I need you. And this is what I need you to do. But taking care of our bodies. And while, if you are in your 30s or in your 40s, I cannot stress to you enough about your body. And another thing about the YouTube mukbangers is this. When you tell them, baby, they had a, a nurse practitioner. And he told this one young lady that she's eating herself into the hospital. Y'all know she made a video and, you know, she dogged him. She dogged him. But I understand in some ways because they, they, they're looking for those likes. They're looking for those views. And this is how they're making their money. But family, listen. Making money is good. I, I, I'm all down with it, right? But if you cannot enjoy your money, if you laying on your back because you cannot enjoy your money, what's the use? Everybody else around you will be enjoying it. You know, your grandkids, <laughs> your children. But we must take care of ourselves. We are aging. And I think I think it was Dorsha put up a, a, a post today. Uh, and at the end of the post, she said, listen, that check, that check light go come on. <laughs> that check light go come on. And you find yourself needing to see that doctor more. So let's take care of ourselves. All money ain't good money. Well, that's true too, man. And that's true too. But we want to take care of ourselves. Also, we are growing some of the most healthiest vegetables 
that you can put your hands on. Many of you, many of us, this is the thing I would challenge you to do is to eat it. Get it in your body. Get it in, baby. Get it in. Because this thing of gardening and aging, it can catch up with you if you're not thinking, if you're not preparing for your aging. You know, if it just sneak up on you. <laughs> and in many ways, it snuck up on me, right? Deborah said, it does take longer these days. When I was 20 years younger, I could do more in a day than I can do now. Exactly. Exactly. So this is some of the pointers that I would give to senior guard, not only seniors, everyone, everyone. Because as I say, if you're in your 30s, if you're in your 40s or 50s, this is a great time to get your body, get all this good stuff incorporated in your body, right? Get it in, get it in, baby. All right. One of the things as you, as we age, gardening keeps us active, right? It, if you retired, gardening keeps us with a responsibility. How many older people, I, listen, I visit nursing homes all the time. And every time I leave out there, I'm in tears. Many men and women is younger than I. They're younger than I. They do not have the ability to do the things that they love. Just for me to be outside, just sitting outside in the sun, to me, is just a blessing. But many of the people I meet over there, they cannot get into that sun unless someone brings them out in that sun, right? They don't have that free will to say, I'm going to go outside or when they are ready to come in, they have to wait for someone to come and get them. I don't want this for us. No. And this is the time we should, if you, if you thought about it, if you thinking about it, if this is your first time hearing about it, then this is something you should do. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute, baby. Let's see what you say. I just tried radishes, leaves. Mmm, sound like something growing out the box, dude. <laughs> um, we're so good. Um, it can sneak up on you. I, I lift weights. I ran and I always uh, been thin. But all of a sudden, <laughs> these aches start coming, but I won't stop now. So just listen, taking care of yourself is just more important. You, you, you have to. Okay. So being active in your garden. Now I'm talking about active for our mental. That's the first thing. Gardening does so much for our mental, y'all. I hear so many people say gardening is their therapy, right? I want to be active as long as I can. Gardening sure helps. So Think about that, what you just said, Yankee sister. I want to be active as long as I can, right? So how you can be active as long as you can is taking care of yourself by doing simple things, eating good food, eating most of your food that is alive. Yeah, yeah. Water, right? Or juices, all of those things is so good for us. Begin to treat your body good. Just like we take care of our garden. We take care of our gardens, y'all. You know, I feed my garden every 10 days, baby. Look, I'm on it, right? 
This is the way we must think of ourselves. This is how we can continuously do the things we love to do. Gardening is great. Hey, Sammy, Joe. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. So staying active in your garden is a huge, it's a huge, huge thing, right? It helps our mind. It helps keep us busy. It helps keep us with a responsibility, right? All right. It helps us to do the things we love to do because we garden, right? It helps keeps our energy up, right? Doing the things you love and being in our own world, baby. I feel like I cannot lay in the bed half of the day because I got to go out there and, 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 and water these, these plants, right? And that's just something that I'm responsible for. Hey, Stacy, how you doing? I understand, Gail, Gail. Okay, Gail, say something. I didn't see it. Yeah. Oh, four operations knocked me down. But this summer, I'm going to get some strength back. Great, baby. Great. And if you have to do like light exercises, do those things. But these are some things that happens to us normally. Now, if you see my little short I did today, about this live, I have been called an old woman. Yeah, I have here on YouTube. But I say this, and I was called an old woman by a young woman. And it's cool because I smile, right? And what I say to her, baby, keep waking up in the morning. Keep waking up in the morning, all right? <laughs> That's right. And the only way that you don't get old, and, and she says it like it's a disease, the only way you don't, there's one way. There's one way you don't get old. <laughs> Do y'all know? What is that way? What is that way that you will not get old? Let me know. Hey, Gail, right? Yeah. Another thing is so important for us is for us to sleep at night. Baby, we must sleep at night. <laughs> yeah. Here in New Orleans, listen, y'all. I don't know about anywhere else because I never lived, you know. But anyway, many times when I was like in my 30s and 40s, listen. When I was going out, I was getting dressed at around 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> right? Uh, keep living and you will get old too. Exactly, exactly. I'm blessed to be an old woman. Getting old, or, amen. That's it. That's it, Melinda. That's it. That's it, right? So... I just look at her and say, keep living. Keep waking up in the morning, right? <laughs> but every time I hear people, younger people talk about seniors, they, they use that old, like it's bad. It's a, it's a bad thing. It's, it's ugly, you know? Yeah. Okay, Stacy speaking here, everybody. Deborah said, I can't possibly consider a vacation because <laughs> it's very hot in the summer. So I water in the morning early and know my children will not water. Yes. So, yeah. And that's the way you do that. Party don't start until, see, Steffi, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. So, at this time in our life, I think by the time you hit 50, then your childish ways, baby, you should lay, lay them down. Lay them down. And things you must think about is your health. Because as Dorsha, little, um, little post she put up today, that little light gonna start twinkling, right? 
it's going to start twinkling. Yeah, so let's take care of our bodies. And this is how we can continue to do the things that we love to do. All right. So we know we have to garden different, different from the way we used to garden. I see many people say that they only garden in containers now, that they are older, right? Wait a minute, Barb. Let's see, baby. Yes, gardening is work. Many years ago, after my garden area was plowed, it would take me 16 hours to get everything planted, seeded. Since then, I had I had six raised beds built with uh, seeding areas. Yes, yes. You got to know that you got to do things, some things a little differently, right? So one of the things I say a lot of time is when you are gardening is to have your garden clean. And I know a lot of people, you know, they, they don't want to hear, but listen, it's a way it helps you when you keep your garden clean, you clear the path of where you're walking. Many people have accidents in their own garden, falling over something that they put there and did not move. So if you remember to just replace things, then you will stop falling in your own garden, right? Spread your garden out. Don't have things so compact where you can't reach it or you have to reach over things to get to things. It's losing your balance. It's very easy to do, family. It really is. Hey, Psalms, how you doing, baby? Yeah, losing your balance, it could be really easy to do. So spread things out in your garden. Now, many people, you know, if you're in your 30s and your 40s, you say, oh, you know, I, I don't need that right now. And maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. But Maybe you need other things like eating good so you can do the things that you can continuously love to do, all right? When you need to transport something like, like uh, bags of compost, get you a wagon or, or a person. <laughs> yeah, get you a wagon and 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 pull that wagon instead of trying to carry it like you used to do. We used to, I used to could do so much more. Maybe I used to be flexing these muscles. Ha! <laughs> I ain't doing that today. I ain't doing that today. I have chairs everywhere. Thank you, Daddy Dad, because I do too. I got them parked, you know, they, they in areas that I have my chairs, definitely. And I'm not ashamed of them. I dare someone move my chairs. <laughs> uh, 99 say, I love my gorilla car. Great, man. I don't have a gorilla car, but I do have a wagon that my grandkids, I had my grandkids playing in this wagon when they were tiny little boys and I still have it. So yeah, it still works. It still works, right? So spread your garden out where you can get around to things. And family, these, these little things you may say, you know, it's small and it is until you fall and break something, right? Yeah. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Nikki, OCD is chick. How you doing, baby? All right, so let me go through some of the things here. Um, it says, now these are just some of my thoughts I just wrote down about 
for this live, right? And we talked about keeping your energy up. Take a break. Take a break. Get you a fruit. I like I like to eat mangoes out there because they're nice and juicy and yeah. And it just gives you more energy and it's hydrating you at the same time. So take breaks when you're in your garden, right? Also, black people, my people, we need sunscreen. We do. Can our can we get sunburned? We can. Can we get skin cancer from the sun? We can. So always have you some sunscreen on when it's hot out there. Right? The next one I will say to you is do not be in your garden at the hottest time of the day. <laughs> I can hear my son. I can hear my nephew, Chris, from Back to Our Roots Homestead. He always saying, T, are you in that garden <laughs> when it's hot, you know? So if it is hot, family, you go out there in the early mornings around 9, 9.30, 10 o'clock, go inside when it's hot, when it's summer. Get inside. And I'm talking about us, and not only for sunburn, but if you are on medication, a lot of medication says not to be in direct heat, not to be in direct sunlight. A couple of years ago, and this is true, a friend of mine, not far from me, he had a garden. He was in his garden. His family was looking for him. Everybody was looking for him, right? Calling, calling, no answer. All that night, they didn't call the police looking for him. The next day, they found him. He was in his garden. He had a sunstroke and passed away in his garden. And he was 74 years old. Family, we must think. You must think. So about 9 o'clock in the summer, in the morning, 9.30, go inside. You know, and you can say, oh, I, I feel good. Yeah, you feel good. <laughs> but your body is hot as hello. So we must think, we must think. Another thing, when you are out in your garden, and this is for all of us, always have your cell phone, always have your cell phone with you. You never know, you never know family. Have your cell phone with you. Yes, Nikki and hats and shades, all of these things, protect yourself. We are in climate change and we know this. Many of us, I think last summer, New Orleans saw 117 degrees. That is outrageously crazy, right? Don't be in your garden when it's 117 degrees outside y'all. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Don't do that. Don't do that. So did I say that at night, family, <clears throat> at night, and I'm talking to the seniors now, at night, we sleep. You sleep at night, family. Oh, listen, there's nothing in this world better than sleep at night. Right? So 99 says, I fall it. Oh, man. <laughs> but have your cell phone with you at all times. You know, get your little apron or so with a pocket and put it in there. Right. Put it in there. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Patience. And that's another thing. That's another thing. I see so, so many of us and usually, usually seniors have more patience than younger, uh, younger people do. It's simply because we've, we've been through some things and we've seen some things, right? And we know some things you just got to wait for, right? Have patience in your garden. My summertime, um, it's quitting time. Oh, okay. It's 10 a.m. And I go out to check plants after six. There you go. There you go. I had to learn that because I used to stay out of my garden. My son, my son, um, he teaches and he would come home for lunch and he teaches at the school right in the, in the neighborhood. He walk and he would walk right back there and grab my hand and bring me inside. Hey, daughter, daughter, daughter. Hey, my baby girl. Jody's here, y'all. Hey, Jody. Hey, my baby. Good to see you, honey. Mama, so glad you're here. All right. So stay hydrated. Take care of our bodies, family. Please take care of our bodies. We want to be able to do the things that we love to do as long as we have life, right? But there are, and, and, and a lot of times, a lot of us say, you know, well, God going to make a way and God going to do, and I know he will, but listen, I want you to hear me. God gives us senses freely. He want us to use them. If he didn't want us to use them, he wouldn't have gave it to us. Right. So don't always know when you know you're doing something that is not right. But you want to say, oh, God, God going to take care of me. Come on. Now. Use your good common sense. Use them. Use them. <laughs> and I know sometimes that could be hard for some people to use those good common sense. But Listen, if you practice using them, you will get better at it, okay? Use them. Uh, what you say, baby? Uh, I, my nephew passed away a massive heart attack. He was 19 six years ago, so she didn't matter. I don't know what that means. Hey, LGG, baby. Yeah. I go into the garden wearing sunscreen, an apron, yes, two bags, big um, floppy hat. There you go. Sunglasses, glove, garden shoes. And that's another thing, your shoes. Listen, y'all, I know that a lot of us like to wear with, with these things is like these flip flops. But that's an easy way for you to fall. It really is. It really is, y'all. Um, big, uh, big sticks for dogs, a phone, a wagon, water jug, early in the morning, listening uh, to the birds. There you go, baby. We just have to use just common sense that God gave us. And these things could be worked out so easily if we just use them right? Because I have seen so many things happen in the garden that did not have to be. It did not have to be, but many people do not want to listen. Many people use that same phrase, oh, God don't make a way. God will make a way. But when you do something that you know is harmful to you, come on now. Age does not matter, Tinog. Everyone needs to take precautions. And that is true. That is very true. And if you don't take precautions, these are the things that will happen. But today, I am specifically talking to seniors on continuously to do the things that we love to do by trying to keep our bodies healthy and strong right? 
There's different ways of gardening. Just like someone says, um, they they only garden, um, they only plant in container gardens. 99 says he have chairs all over his garden. And, and I do too, I do too. And if you can incorporate help in your garden, do that. Or tasks that usually takes you 20 minutes to do, baby, listen, are you in a hurry? Are you in a hurry? So if you're not in a hurry, you, listen, it could take a day, right? Hey, pretty girl, how you doing, honey? It don't matter. You don't have to do things so quickly. And that is the thing with sometimes many people are trying to keep up with everybody in the gardening community. Baby, listen, just do you. Just do you. You can't keep up with everybody in this garden community. Okay. Hey, analytic garden. Hey, baby. Thank you. You cannot. And don't try, especially if you're a senior. Come on. Don't do it because you're just going to hurt yourself. All right. Being a senior, I just slow down and take my time, especially. And that is a great thing to do is just... Take your time, baby. Take your time, okay? So, choosing the best time of day for you, all right? Spread your garden out so you make sure your pathways are clear, right? Make sure you have clear walking pathways in your garden. Don't have everything so tight together it can cause a disaster for you, all right? Yeah, keeping your garden uh, accessible, right? If you, it, and if it get too hard for you, then just do indoor garden. You have Mike, Mike, listen, Mike is a, he's great. He's a great teacher. He knows how to do it. Go over to his channel. And if you can't do the outside as much as you usually do, go inside. Go inside and do it, right? Enjoy the process. We are so blessed to do so. Yes, Sammy Joe. And that's what it is. We are, it is a blessing for us to be able to do the things that we are doing. So because we are blessed, use your good common sense to take care of yourself. Take care of your mind, your body, and your soul, right? Loving nature is a huge part of gardening. Huge. It is huge. So one of the things else I wanted to talk about is this. Many times I see a lot of people say they want to get rid of bad bugs. They want to get rid of all the bad bugs. Have anybody, uh, have you heard this before? Where people really try to get rid of all the bad bugs. As a senior, we need to hear these things. It is so easy to forget when you get outside. It really is, baby. It really is. I use Big Pad that comes to my knee mm -hmm. to have a small greenhouse. There you go. Let me get some water, y'all. Because my cup is empty. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, many people, they say they want to Get rid of all the bad bugs. Guava, Mike. Guava, man. So this is just good old water, baby. Good old water. Ooh. Yes, Lord. So listen, family. Do I like bad bugs? No. I don't like bad bugs. <laughs> But if we want to kill all the bad bugs, and I hear lots of people on their videos, 
Do y'all see all those bees all over my fruit trees? Oh, look at them. They're all over my fruit trees. <laughs> but you want the good bugs. You want the good bugs. Now, bad bugs will eat our vegetables. Yes, they will. And one thing I'm going to put up a video about shortly is the Japanese beetle, y'all, because oh, that's one. For bad bugs, for good bugs, wait, for bad bugs, he have another bug that will eat him, right? If you get rid of the bad bugs, then how are you going to get good bugs? And how really, we cannot kill all the bad bugs. You cannot. It's something about the ecosystem. And growing out the box, I know you know something about that. But we have to find a way to make it work for us, right? There go my lipstick, y'all. Shoot. <laughs> you have to find a way to make it work. So what I do is plant those onions, leeks, and garlic around my vegetables, not to kill them, <clears throat> because it... Those those onions, garlic, and leeks does not kill. No, they don't kill. They prevent. That's what they do. They make them move on. Move on. Go away. Don't come over here. Right? We have to find a way to make it work for both of them. That's just nature. That's nature, family. So... When people talking about killing all the bad bugs. And that's another reason why I try not to spray even my lemon oil or my orange oil or um, neem oil. Because all of these oils, they don't care if it's a good bug or a bad bug. They'll take it. Listen, if they, if they get on them, it's going to take them out. Slowly taking them out right? Hey, Jazzy, how you doing? It will take them out. So I try not to. I try to make them bad bugs move on, move on. Go on now, <laughs> all right? So that's another thing. I just wanted to put that on your mind, all right? Okay, so um, so we talked about the cell phone and, and having protecting our skin family is so important because listen there are times and there are days that we step out of our garden and we take off our garden clothes and we put on you know something nice and cool and we put on our makeup and we going to step out a little while you want your skin to look nice. You don't want your skin all cracky. And if you continuously be in your garden and don't wear sunscreen, don't put on no moisturizer. Everybody where you, where you're going to, they're going to know you're a gardener by, by your hands, by your face. <laughs> so take care of your skin, baby. Take care of your skin. Sylvia, you say, I'm trying so hard to get my ecosystem in balance. I saw an assassin bug, ladybugs, in my garden. I hope to see more. And that's cool. Well, the assassin bug, I, I, I don't know about her. But the ladybugs, and that's the thing about it is when you see certain bugs in your garden, you should know why they're there. And... When you see them, then you know the problem that you are, you are going to face with. For instance, if you see ladybugs in your garden, see if you see ladybugs on your trees, aphids is there. Even if you didn't see them, they're there, baby. They're there. Go look because if... The insects, they come there for the food, period. 
Just like we go, we grow in a garden for our food, they come for the food. And if you if 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 the aphids were not there, you wouldn't see the ladybugs. Okay, you wouldn't see her because the food is not there. It's like this: you want hummingbirds, hang up a hummingbird feeder. Get you some Dollar Tree hummingbird uh, feeders. Make you some sweet water, really sweet. Don't put any food coloring in there. I, it doesn't matter where you are, okay? Just clear water and sugar and make sure it's melted and it's nice. And hang it up. And they will come. Plant the flowers that the hummingbird loves. They will show up, okay? What you say, baby? Yeah, right, Sylvia. All right, okay. All right, so now, do any one of you all have any questions or do you all have um something that you would like to say that maybe can help not only seniors, but all of us as gardeners. Hummingbird love cosmos. Yes, they do. They do. They really do. They love um, many, many. They love canna lilies. Oh, they love canna lilies. Um, they love yellow and red flowers. Those are the most popular colors they that uh hummingbird flowers love right so grab you some red and yellow flowers and you will get you a lot of hummingbird hey juicing with jay how you doing man guava y'all okay what you say ma'am Growing up the box say the hummingbirds cannot survive without protein of insects. Okay. They are the guardians of the garden. Hey, that is awesome, man. That is so cool. Thank you for that. Thank you. I appreciate that. So those little insects, the, the hummingbird will take care of them. So Let's not spray and kill them all, right? Yeah, let the hummingbird eat them, all right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so anybody have any <clears throat> any more um, suggestions for seniors? T-Nog, I just wanna say you are such an inspiration and I'm grateful to have been led to your channel. Oh, T-Nog, you are indeed a beautiful soul. Oh, thank you so much, Tampa Creek. I love you, baby. I really do. And I enjoy you to the fullest. You hear me? To the fullest. <laughs> you make me laugh so much. You just listen. You do my Wednesday night so good. I love it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, baby. Golden um, Sun Kiss. What moon phrase is good for planting seeds? So let me just say this. I don't plant by the moon. So that kind of went by me. I don't plant by the moon at all. So you probably have other gardeners in here that plant by the moon. I'm, I'm not one of them. All right. Red Lady says, um, get the raised bed that sits up off the ground so you won't have to do so much bending over. That is great, baby. And that is true. And I see a lot of seniors using this. So that is great. Great. Sylvia said, I have hummingbirds that came to my garden. I'm trying to attract more to come. Put up, you know, like four or five, put them in different places. You know, yeah, I mean, go to the Dollar Tree, they cheap there and, you know, they will love it. Those little hummingbirds, I love them so much. I do too. I do too. Jeannie said, um, I don't plant by the moon. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't either. So 
I don't know anything about that. I never studied that at all. No. Let's see. Wait a minute now. Oh, wow. That went by me. Mm. Oh, okay. That was Golden Sun Kiss said that. I don't plan by the moon. So does anyone in here plant by the moon? Yeah, maybe you all can can help help them. I don't. I have heard great reviews on the vertical. Um, oh yeah, green stock. Yeah, I see a lot of people have green stock, and I think it's cool for growing vertically. It's great. It's great for many people. Okay, let's see, baby. So this is from Psalms advice for seniors. Know your body limits and please don't let don't lift more than uh, you're comfortable or able to. Great advice, and that is so true. Um, Stacy say I planted, uh, I plant by the hunger. <laughs> yes, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Man, go ahead, that's right, and it's true. It's true. I plant by uh, season, right? And that's just what I do. Nikki says, set a timer on your phone so you don't get stuck in the heat. That's a good one, too, is to set your timer like for 930 a.m. It's like, OK, get out the garden, go inside. Yeah. And that's a great time where if you're harvesting, you get your food, you go bring it in and you clean it, chop it up or whatever you're doing to it, dehydrating it or or whatever. Right. But um, preserving shouldn't be in the summer. It should be in the evening. So, I mean, in the, in the uh, fall. So, you know, clean them up, chop them up and put them in freezer bags and put them in the freezer. Right. Rhonda say, I don't. Uh, I don't either, baby. 99 say, yes, I plant by the moon. Sometimes get the old farmer's arm in that. I don't mess with it. But, you know, a lot of people do. A lot of people do. So, you know, that's the thing. It's just not mine. Yeah. Old Farmer's Armanac is good for planting by the moon. Yeah. My squirrel. <laughs> Wait, Mike. <laughs> My squirrels <laughs> moon me. <laughs> but that's a different story. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But family, listen. All of us, it doesn't matter our age. And this is what I want to say. If you in your 30s, 40s, in your 50s, the earlier you start to really get really serious about taking care of your body, doing the things that you can to take care of your body, right? It's the best thing you can do for yourself, right? If you are taking maintenance medicine, you know, you know, like you take a pill once a day or twice a day for maybe blood, blood pressure or something. Remember, being in direct sun is not good. So try your best to do the things you have to do in the mornings, leave and come back in the evening, taking care of your body and giving your body what it needs water, fruits, all of these things is so important to us because we want to be able to go out there and do these things, but we have to realize is that we must take care of this body, right? Juicing with Jay said, wait a minute, Jay, let me put you over here. I had a company reach out to me about uh, feet help. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we are taking care of our feet while we are. Yes, man. And that's so true. And we talked about, I don't know if he was here, but we talked about the shoes that we are wearing, right? Because, you know, going out there with flip flops, uh, it can, you yeah, it, it can cause some problems. So just be mindful of those things, you know? 
uh, hey, hey, Haley, baby. Good evening, Miss Linda. I'm passing through um, to show support. I've been up and down all week, um, taking time to regain my health and strength. Okay, I'm not sick, uh, but I'll be doing too much. Yeah, yeah, baby, I understand. And, and that's the thing is, you know, even when we hurt, you know, or you hurt yourself, and I know, Healy, you, you hurt your arm, I think. Even I, I've been wearing a brace for a long time, and, and it still hurts today. But I just take my time. And the things that I cannot do, I get other people to do them. And if they don't want to do them right, now, right then, I just wait. I just wait. I get one of them. One of them are going to do it because <laughs> I'm going to bug them. <laughs> you know, so let's take care of our bodies, baby. My doctor told me gardening and walking saved my life. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, hey, Ty Lily. She said, I just celebrated my birthday. It takes me longer to mow and edge and weed whack uh, my yard now because I had to take breaks. It took me all day. Listen, and I know sometimes some people say, you know, it, it just taking me a long. It's OK, baby. It's OK. If that job is taking you all day, baby, you take breaks and just. Take all day to do it. It's nothing wrong with taking a break because we cannot do the things we used to do that fast, right? Don't worry about getting it done fast. Not at all. If you can't get someone to do it for you, take your time and do it. It's your garden, right? It's your garden. You ain't on the clock for nobody, are you? <laughs> I'm on my clock. I'm on Linda clock. So uh, Trina said, I think gardening is more enjoyable with shoes and gloves, <laughs> feet not sliding around. So listen, many times I have went out to my garden barefooted. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Walking in my garden barefooted. Done <laughs> many times. But I was not doing a task. I wasn't doing anything, you know, like working or doing. I was just walking or playing around in my garden. But when I'm working in my garden, I'm tied up, baby. I'm tied up. Yeah. Hey, Gina, Gina, how you doing, baby? How are you? I learned not to wear flip-flops in my garden after a snake crawled across my toes. Lord have mercy, baby. Ooh. Woo. So a friend of mine's on TikTok. She was out in her garden and her little dog, her little dog was bit by a snake while they were in the garden, a copperhead snake. Yeah, so be careful, y'all, because last year, I've been in my home now for 24 years, and last year was the first year I saw a snake in my garden. It was a garden snake, but I had never seen one before. But you know, he gone, but my eyes is always open for him now. I really, ooh, yeah, you have to be careful. And just to think of me being out there barefooted and a snake crawl over my feet. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Gardening clogs and boots are great. Yes, baby. Yes. Analytic gardeners say, take care. Oh, Healy. Yeah, you're talking to Healy. Yeah. Take care of yourself, baby. Yeah. Rhonda said, I hope you feel better soon, Healy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Nikki Walker said, that would have freaked me out. Oh, you're talking to Cassandra. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Oh, oh wow. I forgot all about the live stream. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, baby. That's okay. Um, Fit Girl. Hello, everyone. Sorry I missed the live. I will have uh, to watch the replay. Did you mention the cicadas that is a, that's coming? No, I have not. Um, but I have spoke about the cicadas that is coming. 
And, uh, you know, the only thing I can say about the cicadas, there's, you know, two different, they, they come in and um, the only nuisance that I know about cicadas is that they make noise. But here in my area, I do get cicadas, but they do not eat my crop. The only thing I don't like about the cicadas, of course, is the noise. And that's when I see a whole bunch of them together. Other than that, they don't do anything to my crop. So if you have ever had cicadas, have cicadas ever eaten your plants? Let me know. So 99, let me know about your area. I mean, um, growing out the box, because I know you researched a lot about this. <clears throat> okay all right let's see i do have to get better um at my garden gear yeah yeah i can't do my front and backyard anymore uh the same day one day for the front yes and one day for the back yeah yeah i don't trust anything anymore yeah well that's what, you know, time uh, will do. You know, you would learn, learn from your time. And, and that's what most, that's the thing about being a senior, you know, we learned through the years, especially like patients, especially in the garden. I see a lot of people, they they get so, they, they, they want this seed to germinate so fast and if it don't germinate fast they're going to put it put it on a heating pad and they want it to germinate quick right but anyway y'all know how they go <laughs> i cut my grass once a section at a time there you go hey you, you know when you are when you get older you just do things a little differently that's all I truly enjoy my garden today. It was amazing. Um, wait a minute now. You jumped on me. LGG baby. Where are you? Hey, Dorsha, I was talking about you. Were you in the bushes listening to me? <laughs> I was talking about you. Yeah. Okay. I think I miss LGG. Oh, I truly enjoyed my garden today. It was amazing. Tomorrow we'll be back for more sweetness. There you go. Yeah, Sammy Joe, Miss Linda, you have to watch. Uh, oh Lord, please. Oh, Sammy Joe, <laughs> you know I do, girl. <laughs> and and this, see, this is the thing about. I'm not afraid of them. I just don't like the way they look. They just creep me out, you know. Hey, Tony, everyone be careful out there in your gardens. Yes, you have to know that, especially in our age group, if you if you have, um, you know, if you're walking with a cane, right, that is, baby, get you some chairs out in your garden. Get you some chairs and set you some chairs out because that's the easy and listen clear your pathway clear that pathway family okay oh that's good news miss linda supposed to be um coming to atlanta okay i didn't know if i need to put play oh no baby no 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 you don't need that no no not at all, baby. Not at all. Okay. So, anybody? Oh, what you say? Growing out the box? Let me put you over here so I can see. I have seen the shells, yes, of the cicadas still hanging on the trees, but I have never seen one alive. Now, I have seen one alive, but they're on the ground and they're just flapping their wings which I think their wings are absolutely beautiful. It's like fluorescent in the light. But I have never seen any evidence of my plants where cicadas have eaten them at all. Never. <clears throat> I've never seen that. I have seen them hanging on plants and it's just a shell too, man. So, yeah. 
that's that's all I have seen from um, Cicadas. Hey, uh, G, um, GT, how you doing, man? How you doing? Um, okay, Cicadas wreak, wreak havoc on crops in the Middle East. Uh, really? They were called desert. Did they did they eat the plants? I've never seen them eat plants here in my area. Never. Never have. All right. So if you all have any questions, now is the time to put your questions in. Okay. Growing up the box say they say they are harmless, just a noise nuisance. Yes. And that's all I have ever experienced. Hey, Happy Mac. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the solo? Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me drink it. Let me drink a swallow of water. <laughs> So let me say this, is that I have seen Eclipse before, right? Now, if you all don't know, there's a company called CERN, C-E-R-N. You can Google that and you can read more about what they are going to do when this Eclipse are happening. But to me, uh, this just me, right? Um, we're gonna have an eclipse, and <laughs> the sun gonna rise. <laughs> That's it. And I don't know why people people are just freaking out right now. You know, I, I don't know. I don't have any thoughts on it, you know. One thing I know for sure, it's gonna happen. So ready or not, here I come, gonna find you because <laughs> it's coming. So, but you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about it. I'm not depressed about it. It's gonna happen, and that's it. Really, Dart says it, it blinks the screen. Go to C E R N. I think that's you spelling it. I'm spelling it right. Okay, <laughs> I'm over the eclipse already. Yeah, it, it, I think everybody is just they. Everybody is blaming the the earthquake that we just had in uh, that they just had in um, New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia on this eclipse, and for me. I do not know. So <laughs> I don't know, baby. I don't know. Yeah, uh, TLC. Yeah, I'm over it too, baby. I'm over it, you know. And everybody is, everybody having their own view about it. Like, you know, it's kind of, kind of crazy. Hey, Veggie Baby, how you doing? She said, good evening, Miss Linda. And hello, chat. I've been listening from the bushes. Great info tonight. As always, thank you, baby. I appreciate you being here. All right, family. So anybody have any more questions? Not Eclipse question, because I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So for, for those who who want to know about that, I, I, I don't know. Miss Linda don't know. I don't know at all. Yeah. So let's have some um, gardening questions. Gardening, right? Hey, how you doing, baby? Foodie, how are you? Thank you for being here. Yeah. Oh, there was tremors also? Ah, in Connecticut. Okay. Read your Bible in times events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, you see a lot of that too, you know, but... Um, I also believe that even in the Bible, the Bible says that all these things must come to pass. So, yeah, 
gardening questions, y'all better come on, Rhonda. Rhonda, I love you, baby. And that is it. That is it. And that is all. I with you. I'm with you. Yes, I'm with you. God knows that's the truth. Yeah. Have you um, taste a Paul Robeson tomato, Miss Linda? Yeah, man. A couple of years ago, I did. Um, uh, we did a, a a live about it, maybe about two or three years ago, about the Paul Robeson. I gave the entire history of Paul Robeson, and I love the tomato. I have it growing. Paul Robeson is one of those um, tomatoes. Um, but I talk more about the man, uh, also, also, and the tomato. Yeah. I grew Paul Robeson last year. Yes. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Hey man, that's so true. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love Paul Robeson and I love all of those dark tomatoes like Paul Robeson, um, Cherokee purple is another one that, Ooh, ooh, I love that tomato. She is juicy and big and meaty. Woo! And I love it. Mm -hmm. What you think? Oh, you're talking to Stacy. Okay. Yeah. Thanks uh, for this live. I appreciate you so very much. Oh, I thank you for being here, baby. I really do. Paul Robeson was amazing. Yes, he was as a man. As a man just the man. He was an amazing man. And uh, I love um, his life history. I grew last summer. Delicious. Yeah. So I'm using, um, wait a minute, Rhonda, heating mats. Wait a minute, baby. I mean, move you because the live is moving. All right. Let me put you over here. So I'm using heating mats for the first time. I regret not using them in the past years. Hey, and um, a lot of people use them. And I see you have, do you have it out in your little greenhouse? Yeah, I mean, if that's, you know, and sometimes you have, some people have a very short season. And so they need this. And that is amazing. Yes. The dark tomatoes have their own flavor. Oh, yeah. Okay, me. Do you do you thin plum trees? Do I thin plum trees? <sighs> what do you mean thin a plum tree? So thinning a plum tree, meaning I have a lot of plum trees together and thinning them out. That's is that what you're saying? Mine had too many baby plums. That's what you mean. Okay. How do you choose which ones gets to go? I got you now. I, 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 I got you. So you want to look at your plums and just like a peach tree, if you have too many on one limb, if they are too close together, if, if a plum is disfigured, if it's yellow or any kind of blemish, take that one off. Take it off. If the other ones are bigger than other ones, take the smaller ones off. That's how you go around. I'll tell you what you do. Fit girl, go over to um, Grow Family Network. He just did a video on pruning his, um, his um, peach tree. Grow Family Network, that is the channel. He just did that video. So go there and you will see how he pruned that tree and he explains it to you clearly where you can understand why he's taking them off. Okay, go check him out. Grow Family Network. All right. Yeah, I just saw that video. So Analytic Gardener says, I'm growing the Paul Robeson this year. Yeah. Paul Robeson was an amazing man. Uh, and, and, and listen, I just appreciate that the Russians, they saw the magic in this man, right? 
and named this beautiful black tomato after him because he was so special. He really was. Inside the house. Okay, baby. Okay. Yes. Live in Michigan. Okay. What tomato are you growing this year, Auntie Linda? I'm growing a lot of tomatoes from Paul Robeson. I'm growing a lot of big tomatoes um, as well as the... Oh, Chris, what's the name of that tomato? It's a new Baker Creek tomato that he, this man put it like a hot dog or I don't forgot the name of it. Um, but, you know, all the regulars, you know, like um, uh, brandy wines, the yellows and the reds. I'm growing a lot of big tomatoes, but I'm also growing um, like uh, the tie dye tomato from Baker Creek. I, I grew that last year and it was just so good. good. So darn good, y'all. It was good. And so I'm growing more of that too. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> Thanks. I will um, try the mortgage lifter. That's a good one too. Yeah, um, GT. I haven't tasted either one. Okay. You listen, they are really big, juicy, meaty tomatoes. And that's what I love. Um, lots of fruit. Yeah. So go over there, um, Fit Girl to um, Grow Family Network. He just did a video. He have lots of fruit trees. I don't know if you are familiar with his channel, but he have a lot of fruit trees and he's in Louisiana. He's in a little Northern Louisiana for me, uh, but he grow a lot of wonderful, wonderful fruit trees and He's amazing at it too. Anyone like me um, and forget to start their Paul Robeson tomato plant? <laughs> I didn't forget, man. No, no. I'm doing um, Crim, the purple Cherokee. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, GT say, I started the seeds already. I can't wait to taste it, man. Yeah, yeah. I planted Jamaican sorrel seeds in early February and they have not sprout really. They didn't take this on. Yeah, so you should check your seeds because that, no, you should drop some more because sound like the seeds are, are not good. All right. That's what it sounds like. Black creme. I got you, man. And I love black creme too. And I got her growing too. I got all of those dark, dark tomatoes because they are so good. They're so full of this anthocyanus. It's part of that superfood thing that I, I, I kind of like. So, yeah, yeah. How are you? Oh, you're talking to growing out the box. Yeah. I have peach trees, but they are always small and then seem more of a wild kind, uh, perhaps from uh, growing from pit. Oh, you grew it from the pit. Yeah, could be, could be the reason why, man. Uh, I don't know. I'm not that big on fruit trees. I just know people that grow wonderful fruit trees, like Grow Family Network is one of the people I go to. Let Farmer 73 is my number one when he caught talking about fruit trees. But Grow Family Network, he just did that video, right? So he's really good at growing fruit trees. So those are the two that I know you can go to, right? Yeah. Barkley tie-dye, Mike, Mike. So there's a young lady here. I haven't seen her in a while, but um, her name is Sam. She's from the Weekend Garden Show. She sent me seeds last year here from her and her mom. And I tried it for the first time, that Barkley tie-dye. And that thing is so good. Have you have you tried it, Mike? I grew it last year and talk about good and juicy. Now, it don't get really big, big, but it's juicy. It's meaty. <laughs> and I don't want to cook it. I just want to eat it raw, just, just like she is. So good. So good. Oh, yes, Paul Rosen had such an amazing deep bass voice. Oh, man, River. <laughs> That's the song he really was popular for. That old man, River. That was him. 
Yeah. Foodie said, what's your experience with rosemary? I'm growing it for the first time and have some seeds in the fridge now. For, for, for one thing, I don't put any seeds in the refrigerator. Now, you know, it, some seeds needs to be stratified. And I understand. I'm just saying I have never done it. Okay. Now, I also grow rosemary, but this is one thing I can tell you about rosemary. Baby, when you put it in the soil, leave her alone. Leave her alone. You may think, oh, well, I haven't given her any water today. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Baby, she's a loner and she don't need nobody messing with her. And that's the thing I, I, I know about Rosemary and why most of people Rosemary die is because she don't need water every day. Like, you know, I, I water my garden every day, but my Rosemary, I listen, I pass her by because she don't need me, right? She don't need me. So that's the thing about Rosemary. Once you get her germinated and get her started, baby, leave her alone. She don't need to be baby. She don't want to be baby. Leave her alone. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> look at the queen of the night. Miss Linda looks so like hot lava pouring out. <laughs> Come on, man. So let me share this with you all. And then we're going to get up out of here. Okay. So. I wish I wanted to share this on Tuesday, but I'm going to share it, okay? So I wanted to um, buy something really cool, and, and I love hats, right? Now, most of the hats that I have, it is for my garden, but this hat is not for the garden, y'all. And this is it. Y'all see that? It is so cool. Let me see. I don't think I... um. But that is it. Let me see if I could get her right. What you think, Dorsha? What you think, Dorsha? And it is a fedora. I think that's how you pronounce that. But anyway, that is my new hat. <laughs> Got a little thing over here. What y'all think, y'all? <laughs> Maybe get that off my head because messing up my hair. But I'm going to wear it Tuesday, right? So some said, would you happen to know if chives need to be stratified? No. My chives don't need to be stratified, baby. No, not at all. And one thing about my chive, really, whether it is garlic chives or onion chives, they come back every year always always um i've never um been able to get them to germinate indoor so now i'm wondering maybe if they need to be chill first i've never chilled them i've never and and seriously family i have never put seeds in the refrigerator and i see a lot of people say they put their free uh seeds in the refrigerator to you know keep them fresh or something. I don't know. I never did it. Never. Never. I direct so everything outside zone nine. Come on now, zone nine. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, you love the hat, man. Thank you, girl in out the box. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, let me see. Let me get to the top. I miss all of this. <laughs> all right. Um, 99 says, I'm trying to grow yellow pear, Rio Grande, okay, oh, Kellogg's breakfast, black creme, Ponderosa, Cherokee purple, and the yellow brandy wine. Awesome, man. You got all those big tomatoes going on. Yes, I like the rosemary. Even starts till I follow T. There you go. Leave him alone, baby. Yeah. Oh, I thought um, he meant the tomato. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Cassandra. Oh, <laughs> 99. 
<laughs> Come on, man. Love that. Thank you. How long does it take Moringa to germinate? Anyone know? So listen, it is different times for different areas. So listen, it all depends on how you planted your Moringa seed, right? Um, do you, did you plant it in the shell? Um, do you, is it on a heat mat? Do you have it in a greenhouse? Is it outside? What's your climate like? So all of these things is like when something germinate for me in a quick amount of time, it may not germinate for you in that amount of time because we're living in different zones and different areas, different climates, you know, and it's just different, right? And, and, and that's the way it is, right? Uh, Yankee sister said that hat is fly. All right. Okay. Love the hat. All right. J3, nice looking hat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Latasha. She used to say beautiful hat. Thank you. Oh, I love you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so we say, yes, I grew them. Oh, you're talking to GT. Oh, that's why my rosemary died. She don't like, no. Yeah, Rhonda, just plant her. And, and you know what I would say to you, to, to anybody who's grown a rosemary, seriously, for the first time, go and buy your plant, buy your plant. I find rosemary will propagate so quickly. Go buy your plant, put it in the ground and let her get, you know, acclimated to your area, right? And then go and cut some sprigs, go and get some sprigs from her and propagate it, whether you put it in water or whether you put it in the soil. You know, get you about three or four cups and put one in each cup just to propagate it so you can get you some more. But just leave her alone. She don't like a lot of water. She don't. And she will die on you. Yeah. Yes, you are. Wearing, oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you, Jazzy. Thank you. Thank you, Gail. It's popping, Miss Linda. It's popping. I love it. Yay. <laughs> Fabulous. Love the hat on you. Thank you, baby. I appreciate it. Yes, Ron. Oh, you're talking to Rhonda. Okay. Um, GT says, oh, you're talking to Sylvia. I ain't going to do that. Okay. All right. All right. Good evening, Bella. <clears throat> Okay, growing out the box here, rosemary does well in poor soil, slightly alkaline. Okay, that's one reason they don't like to be treated like regular plants. Oh, let me put that up there for y'all because I love that um, growing out the box. You see, I wouldn't have said it the way you did, but then, you know, your way, it, that's, that's awesome right there. I love it. Because I know that she just don't like it. She just don't like people, you know, giving her all this water. Yeah. She's a lone girl. She likes to be alone. Super, super duper fly. Yeah. Thank you, Renee Hall. Thank you. Sowing marine, Moringa requires good quality seeds. Really? And once germinated, they can be... Wait a minute, man. <clears throat> um, they can be transplanted. The seeds usually germinate in two weeks at the depth of... <laughs> Thank you, 99. <laughs> oh, nursery. The seedlings can be uh, transplanted. There you go. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Barb Brownlee, thank you, baby. I appreciate you from being here. You know we about to get up here because you know I'm hungry, girl. <laughs> Bella, thank goodness my rosemary survived the winter. Oh, yeah. Listen, she is a survivor now. If you leave her alone, she will live. She will live. Cold and all, she will live. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh. I want to take, wait a minute. Oh, you're talking to somebody? Oh, you want to taste and grow a pawpaw. Okay. Have you tasted before? I have tasted a pawpaw before. I, and I had a pawpaw tree, but of course, you know, well, if you don't know, you're going to know <laughs> that 
Um, in order to grow pawpaws, you must have two. You must have two of them. But um, many times you used to here in my area, you can go in wooded, you used to could go in wooded areas and find these trees. They used to be in the wild, right? But you know, you can't do those things anymore. They are not there anymore. But yeah, you need to. As a matter of fact, Mr. George had some, and I'm going to go down and get some. Um uh, he had some pawpaws and soursop, and I, I never taste the soursop, so I wanted that one because when I did get a soursop, I only wanted the leaves. So I want you all to remember your fruit trees and all of your herbs that you're growing, like your turmeric and your ginger. Don't neglect the leaves. The leaves of many of our fruit trees and herbs are so medicinal and many of us throw them away. We don't know, but I'm telling you, before you, if you buy a tree, if you, every tree you have in your garden, Google the leaves says, what is the benefits of like an olive leaf? Let me tell you, Olive leaves are amazing. I have some dried and I've been drinking teas from her. Learn about the leaves of your trees and plants, okay? You're going to be amazed that they are more potent sometimes than the fruit itself. So pay attention to that. Yes, they are so very needy. Okay. Oh, you're talking to GT. I finally have rosemary growing and I kept killing them, trying to <laughs> get them to grow. Yeah, Ty Lily, have grapes and blackberries to plant. What soil mix do you use uh, for fertilizer? Well, I fertilize everything with the same thing. Now I have blackberries growing, but my blackberries is in the ground. And so my native soil, that is what I have in there. But of course, I feed everything super juice and 511. That's just what I do. Yeah. We've been drinking tea from my lime tree leaves all winter. Beautiful. Our lemon trees, our, all of our citrus trees, leaves are amazing. You want a lemon? And your little lemon tree don't have any lemons, go out there and get a couple of them leaves. They are lemony, baby. They are lemony. You're going to love it. Okay, Mike say try like acidic soil. Okay, Mike. Um, Have you ever worked with figs cutting, Miss Linda? What do you mean work with them? Like propagate them? Yes, I have. Yeah. But what I do, I'll take a limb off a fig tree and just stick it in the soil. I don't put anything on it. I don't scrape off bark. I don't, I don't do anything. I take it and stick it in the soil. And that's it. And it grows. Jeannie Winfield, hi. Where, where can I get Moringa seeds? Baker Creek. Baker Creek have Moringa seeds. All right. All right, y'all. It is time to go. You know. <laughs> JK, I never knew that the leaves of fruit trees are usable. I will definitely try them this year. Are orange leaves good to use? Also? Yes, it's citrus. Go out there. Grab one of your leaves, tear it, and smell it. So that's the thing. When you're in your garden, use all your good five senses out there, right? Grab your leaves, tear it, smell it. And what you smell in the um, orange tree leaves? Orange. And you can make teas with it. Yep. Can you put up your post office box, please? Um, what about I put it in the um, description box of the live, man. Okay. 
Yeah. Amazing live as always, Miss Linda. Enjoy and good night to everyone. Uh, I pray God watch over and shield us for all harm and danger and evil through this night. Amen. Thank you, Red Lady. I appreciate that. Leaves are there to pick, pick, pick. Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. What you say, baby? Y'all can also use leaves from your raspberry plant for teas. Yes, it's especially good for women. Now, I I have blackberry plants and that's what I use too. And it's great for women also. So, so many things. So don't throw your leaves away. Find out what you are eating tonight. I have some jambalaya jambalaya and i have some some trout uh but i'm gonna fry it so it's jambalaya and fried trout and i have a salad and i have some grapes and i have some some juice and i'm gonna do that yeah <laughs> have a blessed rest of your evening you too psalms thank you for being here thank you tia Good night and have you all too. I pray you all have a great night. I thank you all for being here. I have enjoyed myself and we will be back here on Tuesday. And listen, don't forget tomorrow is Meatless Monday. All right. Don't forget to uh, drink your water. To me, that's the most important thing is to get that water in. Get that water in. Good night, Nikki. Good night, Dart. Good night. Good night, sister. Um, great live. Yeah, baby. Thank you so much. You all have a good D. Thank you, D. Oh, thank you, JK. I appreciate you. Linda, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, girl, dad. I enjoyed your video so much, man. I watched so many of your videos, girl, dad. Listen, y'all, go check his video. Out. Go check his video out. This is him right here. The name of his channel is Girl Dad. He is a single father and he had a little girl. So go check him out. And this man, oh, that's, that's Sylvia. Wait a minute, Sylvia. Where's Girl Dad? Wait a minute, y'all. He can cook. Oh my God. He can cook, y'all. <laughs> I was watching this video, it was like two o'clock in the morning. This man had me hungry. <laughs> but check out his video, Girl Dad. Go check out his channel, y'all. Girl Dad. Beautiful, beautiful. I loved it. I, I listen, I spent a lot of time on your channel just looking. I went all the way back to like to your first video, man, where you ate that, that black chip. Yeah, you playing it off like it wasn't so hot, but that thing was hot. Y'all, he ate that black chip. That was his first video. So I watched that too, but I enjoyed your video, man. I really did. I really did. So y'all go check him out. He's growing some stuff. He, <laughs> he, he growing some stuff, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> go check it out for yourself, okay? All right, family. I love you all, and we will see each other Tuesday, okay? Thank y'all for being here. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, my baby. Thank you, Mike, Jazzy, GT. May the good Lord bless and keep you until we meet again. Good night, D. Good night, baby. Good night, TLC. L G G G, baby. Good night. Y'all have a good night. Love y'all. Good night, growing out the box. <laughs>